welcome to our Sakata vegetable production series uh, where we talk everything vegetables from sowing, fert fertigation, fertilization, um, seed preparation, or oh, seed bed preparation, the whole lot. Uh, today we're talking carrots and specifically on the harvest side. How do I not end up with a carrot like this? Because for some reason um, that is not what the market wants. <laughs> Alex, how are you doing? Very well, and you? No, good, good. Okay, right. So we are today here. Uh, we're busy harvesting uh, um, carrots. First thing I want to get to is um, why do I end up with a carrot like this? Okay, it's it it could be genetics um, that the the variety. But in Sakata's case, it's not genetics. Not, not so. the genetics, but. Um, <laughs> Usually it is with um, where you over irrigate it as uh, um, when the carrots is mature and you put a lot of water down that's usually what you end up um, with with some of the mature carrots. So then it basically bursts open here and as you say the heart gets exposed. Yeah. So is that the heart there that's yeah. inside? Do we yeah. call it the heart? Not really but uh, yeah. <laughs> Something it like that. Like that, yeah. Um, okay, so don't over irrigate at the end of the day because then you then you get this. But how do I loosen up my soils then um, to actually be able to harvest? Okay, so if you're a small small scale farmer or you're quite small and maybe just a, a veggie farmer, you can use a spade to, to loosen the soils. If if you're a little bit bigger and you've got a, a tractor and uh, and uh, implements, then you can just uh, use a, a, a ripper with uh, two tines with a blade at the bottom and you can basically just go below the carrots and it will loosen the whole structure of, of the bed. And then I can and then I can basically take them out. Yeah. Now we've got a few carrots that we've taken out already and there's a few that's um, still in the soil. Now if I can compare this, why am I getting this and this? Well that's where usually that's plant spacing. You, yep. you might have one that's very close to one that's already grown quite big so it's going to influence the, the the smaller one does it have an effect in terms of we're talking about plant spacing but also the time of germination so let's say this carrot emerged like two days after this one and then that's what you get at the end of the day yeah you, you can that could have an influence um, but i must say mostly with the, the hybrids of today is, is sized. Yes. So a grower would say he needs a size between 1.6 and 1.8 millimeters or a 1.8 to a 2, um, depending on what type of plant he has or what type of um, what time of year he's planting. So some of the growers prefer bigger seeds in summer and some prefer smaller seeds in winter. Um, and that, that could have an influence, if, especially if you have different sizes. But is that also important, why it, uh, that's also why it's important to buy your seed from a reputable yeah. seed company that's got the technology to size your seed properly and to make sure that when I'm planting seed, I'm planting something that's uniform, otherwise you would get a lot more of this yeah. uh, um, than you should otherwise or exactly. normally get. Yeah. Okay, so, and then in terms of length, so now we've got this one and this one has grown out a lot longer and um, I just want to check quickly here if we can get like a, I think this would be more or less your fresh produce yeah, that's a, market a one packer, yeah. in terms of nice. this is the one that you would be getting the premium for. Yeah versus uh, this one would start to go to processing already yeah. because it's too big, big and this one is maybe yeah, I will still go through but it's yeah. a little bit too small so this is what you're growing for. Yeah. How do I get this carrots ideally? Well, again, that, that comes down to your soil preparation, your bed uh, formation, your seed bed uh, um, firmness, and that uh, the, the soils is, is very well prepared. Then you end up with, and, and irrigation also plays a, a massive role in that, um, to, to get the perfect carrot. Um, other thing is now, okay, so when, I've, uh, um, when I've, we've done growing, how do I know when it's the right time to actually harvest? I think um, the, usually we would give a technical uh, um, leaflet with uh, saying, you know, from sowing to, to, to harvesting that period, you can work on something like that. Or the easiest way is just to take a spade, 
pull a few out and just see what the sizes are. And so now we've loosened it up a little bit here yeah. with the spade, yes. just so that we're able to um, to actually get it out. Um, and if we look at the, um, at these things, um, now we've got a yeah large one, small one there as well. Um, and is it important for me when I go and market the carrots to actually size them beforehand yes. if I've got the, um, so that I can say, okay, right, I give the small ones, yeah, I've got a batch of small carrots, yeah, I've got a batch of medium ones, large ones, yeah. and then um, I would already uh, be able to get more for them on the market because they're already sized. Yeah, so that you're going to get a premium. The moment you start sizing your carrots, that's the moment you're getting a premium for your product. Um, because you're giving the market what the different sizes they're selling at, at the different prices and at the different amount. Sometimes you've got the, the, the small mediums is, is much more preferred and then you get a medium that's much more preferred. So if you can, can size it, that would be first price for, for carrots. Last thing, when we're looking at an average yield, I know there's a lot of different circumstances and uh, variables in terms of your weather conditions, water, fertilization, all of that. Um, but what would be a typical yield on carrots in terms of tons per hectare, uh, more or less? Okay, I would say on average, um, it, it could start anything from 50 tons. And when you get to the good tons, that would be 70 and upwards. Um, okay. tons per hectare. So I'm looking somewhere between 50 and 80 tons yeah. per hectare at the end of the day. So that's uh, on 10,000 square meters. So you can go and work out your, uh, um, your size of land and then you more or less can have an idea of how many tons of carrots uh, you'll be able to produce there. Because I think that's also very important in terms of planning. Uh, it doesn't help that you go and plant a bunch of carrots and maybe you're only doing it for own consumption and then suddenly you've got a bunch of carrots that you don't know what to do with. Yeah, I, I would just add on to that that plant um, population plays also a big role with yields. Yeah. You know, if you go very low plant population you're going to get big carrots but it doesn't always add up at the end of the day if you go too high plant populations um, let's say up to a 1.6 uh, million seeds per hectare then you're going to get very small um, carrots. You're not going to get the, the medium size and the, and the large sizes. So where do I want to be? We want to be between a million and 1.2 million seeds per hectare. That's more or less where we, yeah, where we want to be. That would be a very good average to achieve the yields that we're talking about. Alex, thank you very much. Right, so just when harvesting carrots, more or less uh, um, what you need to look out for. Um, to check out all our other videos that we did in terms of sowing carrots and um, the management of carrots through the whole season. Um, what do you need to look out for as well as there's a little bit of uh, um, seed treatment as well. And then we've got a bunch of other videos coming. If you've got any questions, comment below. And there's a link on top or below that you can click and go to Sakata. If you've got any inquiries, um, don't hesitate to contact them. Till next time. Cheers.